Well, what I had to do and what I wanted to do was to go back and in, in 157, in the survey course, it, it, to, to talk more about the role of religion in society. It seemed a natural thing to do. Um, and if you will remember uh, last year, the year before, uh, but recently we've been having this, uh, yet again, this controversy over evolution. Now they're calling it intelligent design, but it's the same old, it's a, I believe this story is not new. And so what you have at a level that you don't often hear in, in the latter stage of the Cold War is this talk about godless communism, religious or theism of various degrees and types <coughs> against atheism. And, and, and George Bush said, teach the, uh, I believe we should teach the controversy. Well, I couldn't agree more in history class, and I teach it. I, I did what the president asked me to do, and I teach the controversy um, in as much detail as time will permit in a survey course about the, the cultural manifestations of this divide between evolution, and Darwinism, and so-called scientific creationism, or um, intelligent design, or the Genesis account. It has enormous cultural and occasionally political consequences. This last couple decades we've been through the so-called culture wars, for example, mm -hmm. which I mean, make, they, they compel you to study history, I, I would think. This has been a particularly trying time. Are you now, or have you ever been, a member of the Communist Party of the United States? Can you name names of people <coughs> you know or think may have been members of the Communist Party of the United States? Well, the easy answer is that history matters. Um, but I try to make it clear in the lecture, in the survey course, that historical events have consequences in our daily lives. The idea that the scare, the belief, the fear, that somehow communism or Soviet agents or fellow travelers in America, Americans, will take over, subvert America, will collapse, and America will fall to communism one way or another. What if it was not communist but Al Qaeda support? What if you theoretically supported Al Qaeda? Bin Laden talked about the betrayal of Islam after World War I. Well, that's what he was talking about. Um, if you get rid of the Ottoman Empire, these various nations possibly would become independent or perhaps reestablish a, a different type of caliphate. So, guess who pays the price for it? In part, the United States. Uh, but there's a there's a continuum from World War One and the Ottoman Empire being a, with the central powers of World War One all the way up to 9/11. Well, I, I can promise you, most people don't realize that. Most Americans, most students don't. But I, I try to point that out. History matters. It's important to understand that that, that, that actions and events have consequences that can carry through it, it, for a long time and have very unpredictable outcomes. The question remains to this day, and it's one you must think about, how grave was the internal threat to the United States represented by Soviet espionage and, and subversion, and that sort of thing. I hope that they pay attention then. I think, well, this, this just isn't rote memory. That This might count for something in life. And if they remember a few points, then I suppose I've done my job. Mm -hmm.